Okay, so in order for you to create a stored procedure, you're going to follow the same syntax that you have learned before. Create. Instead of table or index or view, you will now going to say procedure. Pass a message. Parameters. Language is SQL for my stored procedure. I have a begin block and an end block. So create procedure, procedure name. If the procedure is expecting a parameter, you can list in the parentheses. You can pick the language of choice if it is an RPG procedure or a SQL procedure or a Java procedure or a C procedure. You can write your procedures in different languages. Then you have a begin block and an end block. Now in more complicated procedures, there are more than one begin blocks, so there are more than one end blocks. So therefore what we do is we precede our begin blocks and end blocks by some kind of aliases. So this is how we know which block is starting and which block is ending. Similarly, every time you have a parameter in a stored procedure, the parameter has to be one of the in-out criteria. So every parameter, the first thing you're going to write is what kind of parameter it is. Followed by the name of the parameter. Followed by what data type it will going to take. The data type must match the field in which the data will going to be placed. So I will going to be utilizing this stored procedure to put some data in test message table where my field of message is of size 100. That's why I have kept this field to be of size 100. So this is a variable. This is a local variable of stored procedure. Now inside the body of the stored procedure, all I want to do is what you put in the begin. Yes, so we need to put an instruction inside the stored procedure. So we're going to simply take in this stored procedure a parameter, and we're going to use this parameter to insert data in the table. So insert into dest message, MSG is how I created it, and the values will going to be the parameter. So as the parameter arrive, whenever you run this, it, ex it will going to ask you for a parameter value. You provide a parameter value, and it will going to let you insert that value. So now go ahead and run this and create the stored procedure. Then I'm going to show you how you can run it. To a stored procedure, we say call, followed by the name of the stored procedure, followed by the value that we want to pass. 